all right so hi guys hope you're doing good my name is dipendur and this is desi codes so in this video i will be sharing an application slash tool which i have been working on for the last one week and we'll also see how things work internally but first thing first let's take a look at the source of inspiration so recently versal introduced a new way of adding your custom components created by the v0 to your project using the shard cncli now that might be a few new terms for someone who may not know so just so that we all are on the same page let's break it down a little so v0 is an ai coding assistant uh, created by versal similar uh, similar to chat gpt but where chat gpt is more like a general purpose language model v0 is specifically tailored for web development tasks and it is more focused on technologies like react uh next years and the overall versal ecosystem internally it uses shard cn to create the ui part of things and shard cn again if, in case you don't know it is a ui component library the main usp of it is that you don't download the entire thing to make use of any of the components that it provides you just kind of uh, download the ones which you require you have the you have the ability to download it via the cli command or you can just do it manually so recently uh, versal introduced a new way of adding your custom components so over here if we ask it to create a custom components as you can see that i created multiple components so at the moment i don't have any messages remaining so i'll just use the one like i'll just use any of the existing command so over here i asked it to create a glowing component and it did in such a way and it provided the code and along with this based on the the recent push the recent update it also provides a custom command to download the component to our project and that is right over here so let's just copy the same thing let me just open up the terminal or cmd as i'm on windows and over here i have an existing blank nextjs project and to this i'll just run the command so with this thing it'll just kind of fetch the custom component which we have right over here and add it to the project so let me just copy the same thing and let's just get to see the content and there it is as you can see it downloaded the content of the entire thing now because we are using it within the nextjs project it <clears throat> it uh, identified that this is going to be a client component because it requires the use state hook and automatically added the use client so that's a nice uh observation by the cli now based on this entire thing i built a similar tool but for general purpose as of like sharing code modules so let me just log in via github by the way this is live at codewix.dev so once we are logged in you can just view all the different modules created the time as well as the number of downloads so we can either click on the new button the new module or do control k or command k based on the os and let's just so the thing is that it is this particular tool it is not specifically curated for any component side of things but you can use it to store your utility uh utility functions or maybe custom hooks so for example let's create a use user platform in such a way let's create it and now let's create the does it really matter for this demo video that content and figure out the user os and just kind of return something right so once you, like you do have the code editor and you can just kind of store or update the content of the module and on the right side we have a few information like created at number of downloads the option to delete it for which you have to kind of enter delete and then we have the cli command to download the component so let's do that so right over here i guess i need to open the cmd again so i'll just do it in the desktop itself so once you do that you'll see that it found the module and it automatically added it or downloaded it to this particular path so we can just view the content and 
as you can see there it is so that is again how this tool works now there is an, again another uh, sort of like a pinch of customization or personalization which i decided to add and that is your own custom signature so whenever user downloads any of the module a custom message will be displayed at the end so let me just use the same which i have over here and now if i try to read on the same command we'll notice that it will say that the same that a module with the same name already exists so it added a prefix to avoid overriding in such a way and at the end it says the message which the user added right and again as you can see we have the module downloaded so that's how things work and let's now take a look at how things internally works so the codevix application the tool itself in it is built on top of nextjs and for the back end side of things it is using convex in case you don't know what convex is it it is a back end as a service similar to firebase or appright or like there are dozens of options out there at the moment i found it pretty intuitive and the developer experience it's pretty great by the way it's not sponsored i hope they do but personally i really liked the overall experience the documentation is pretty great the resources are again well curated well structured as well so yeah that's convex using it for the back end for the database and authentication for the authentication side of things it internally uses the auth ts library that's pretty great you don't have to pay any a uh, third party authentication service provider <clears throat> you have everything under the same umbrella and in order to fetch the modules i had to create the the package the codevix which is used as an exec executable in such a way so internally the way it works is that the id which is provided the same id is sent off or kind of appended along with the request to an endpoint hosted at the convex uh, as an http action just think of it as an api endpoint now we can also host the action on the uh, directly on our own domain but for that you need to have your you need to have the pro plan of convex personally i found the free plan itself pretty generous right it says somewhere over here maybe one second the api i don't know it says uh basically like we have the ability to create http actions which serve like api endpoints hosted at the convex itself your convex live project so if you want to host the same thing on your own domain you have to upgrade or the other option for me would have been that i create an endpoint on my own nextjs project and that cli it makes a request to my nextjs project and internally i forward the same thing to convex and convex whatever the response is i just forward the same thing to the cli but i just wanted to avoid this round trip and decided to kind of directly make request for the cli to the endpoint and the convex one so that's how things internally work do let me know what you think about the project just bear in mind it is a fun one uh, i don't intend to kind of continue or adding new features but in case it turns out to kind of catch some eyes then why not all right so that's it and yeah do let me know what you think about this